Hello my friends, I hope you're doing well, I hope you're doing good, I hope you're ready for another YouTube video from your old buddy, Dadcraft73. We're back here in the wasteland, playing some regrowth, some 1.7.10 modern Minecraft. Man, you can see behind me that I got bees cooking, and that's what I've been doing for, I don't know, six hours I guess? Man, I haven't really been doing it, I've been AFK, but... They've been cooking. <laughs> Let's turn around here and put our hat back on. Man, we're going to knock out some quests today. How about we turn that back on? That's for sure. We're going to try to clean up some things that we've been trying to clean up for a while. Try to get our quest book back under control because I have a feeling it's going to be time very soon to embark on a whole new adventure. Maybe some witchery or some blood magic or <sighs> who knows. But before we want to do that, we got to clean up some quests. So that's what we're going to work on today. It's going to be one of those jumping around a little bit and knocking out a bunch of different quests, but I wanted to show you my bee setup. I have, uh, let's see, eight, seven, seven apiaries going full strength here. I've got all the apiarist pipes. I've got all the setups, everything that needs to be done. And I just came around here a few minutes ago, right before I started recording and collected all my, my combs. So there shouldn't be very many in here. Yeah, there's a couple in there. Let's just grab them out as we see them. And I can show you what I've been doing with them. Uh, none in there. There's one. <laughs> As you can imagine, it's a pretty slow process. There's a couple. We're getting some, though. It's working. It's just going to take some time. We finally got these bees acclimatized the way they need to be. And we have seven full apiaries going along. If we kind of sneak over here and look in. Oh, come on. Yeah, you can see they're doing their deal. I love it. So we're just going to let that keep running. You know, as long as we're AFK, it's going to do its deal. So what I've been doing is I've been grabbing out those silky combs and bringing them down here and putting them in my centrifuge and spinning them out. And then when they spin out, we get, sometimes we get a silky propolis. We get some other odds and ends. Yeah, like that guy right there. And then we just spin those out and we end up getting, you know, some good stuff. So let me, while that's working, let me go over here and show you how many of these things we've got. So if we look at silk like this. So we have 69 total of these silk wisps and I think, hey, go away. I think that's enough to make seven, uh, almost eight. And if we had eight, we can make a yeah, chest plate, I guess. So we're getting close. I mean, we're on our way. We can make boots now for sure. We can almost make a hat. Let's see how many spins out here. A couple more. But anyway, what I thought I was going to do today is knock out a couple some of these quests. So we have this, a couple some of these quests, <laughs> a couple quests. So we have this uh, crazy quest. I think this is uh, what the world embraces. Yeah, uh, maybe. Let me see. Yeah, what the world embraces. And this is the one where we made crafting tables and storage drawers and barrels and all kinds of crazy stuff. And there's only one quest left on this thing, and this is this growth mastery quest where we have to make this master infusion stone. So let's look at that really quick. Master infusion stone. And it's done on the runic altar. It's pretty simple. We need an entire mana pool of mana, it looks like, to craft it. And we need a bunch of different essences. We need extreme, strong, regular, weak, and just essence dust. We need all the old stones. And then we need some uh, essences from different crops. We're going to grab those in just a second. Let's go check on our centrifuge and see if it's done. Yep, so we got 10 of those. We stick those in there and see we're getting some silk wisps out of that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> so we're getting there. It's just a matter of time. We just have to wait it out. We have to be willing to wait longer than the bees. And if we can just keep waiting, we're going to win. So we'll just put that in there now. Now if I look at these guys, we have 78 total. So we can make what? Uh, seven, eight. So we can make eight of those. Almost nine. So we're in good shape. We're just going to let that keep doing its deal. There's no reason to start making any of that stuff until we have enough to make them all. We need 24. So we're about, I guess we're approaching a quarter or a third of the way there. That's pretty good. I'll let those guys do their deal. Okay. Let's get all the essences out of our storage that we need to be able to do this quest. So we need, what was this? The infusion master infusion stone so we need wither ghast sulfur I think we have all that stuff let's look up essence okay so there's wither there's ghast 
There's sulfur. And I know we need, uh, let's see what else we need. Um, infusion. <laughs> That's what we're doing. Infusion stone. Uh, so we need quartz, certus quartz, ardite, osmium, and cobalt. Yeah, okay. All right, let's go back in here and find essences. So we should have certus quartz laying around here somewhere. Yeah, there's one of those. And there's, no, that's lapis. Uh, where's cobalt, ardite, and then osmium, I believe, was the last one. Hello, phone. Please be quiet. All right, so one, two, three. There's seven essences there. Let's just take a look here and see if that's the right number. Uh, infusion. All right, so we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, yeah, and then all the old stones, which I have laying over here. Oh. Before we leave here, let's grab a piece of living rock. There we go. Boom. Okay. And now we should just need these stones from here. Like that. Awesome. And we should be able to go up there and, and complete this quest. Of course, it's nighttime. So let's sleep through the night first. Oh, man, it took a while to actually get those bees produced. And probably, I said I was AFK for about six hours, which is true. Maybe five hours. Now we're coming up on six probably, but um, the issue that I had is they kept reverting back to not being tolerant of this biome. And the the trick is when you run them through the acclimatizer, so if you haven't done that quest and you're going to be working it the same way that I've done using tropical bees and acclimatizing them to the biome that you're in, you need to make sure that you acclimatize the princess and the drone separately. If you do it with just the queen, you have a chance of it not taken. And by the way, if you're playing a mod, maybe a 1.10 pack that's got Gendistry, the same thing works. Works the exact same way. So just be aware of that. So let's go ahead and do this. I think we've got a full pool of mana, so this might take a while. So let's just dump all these guys on there. We can do these essences next. Man, this is probably going to be the biggest recipe I've ever done on the Runic Altar. And we'll do all these guys like that. Oh my goodness, look at all those things swirling around there. And then these guys, and that should be it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at all that stuff swirling around there. Awesome. I love that. Man, I love this runic altar, uh, altar design. I really like Batania. It's really awesome. <laughs> you know, just this mechanic right here. I mean, how cool was that? Those things like floating around there. I love that. Please be quiet, phone. And the petal apothecary is the same way. It's awesome. I love the way that that does too. Man, it's awesome. <laughs> so let's just wait a few seconds for this to finish. And then we can put this piece of living rock on it. Let's get it down here on our bar. And you can hear that clicking. That's that uh, dispenser underneath there clicking that wand. So as soon as we throw the living rock on there, it'll be all set and done. What is that? I don't know what that is. Yeah, is that a runic altar? I think it is a runic altar. Okay, let's just stick this on here. Ah, uh, no, we don't want to do that. Uh, let's put... No. <laughs> Here, let's put one of these guys on here. Do we just don't want it picking up? I'm, I just don't want it to pick up any of that, the coal coke that comes shooting out of there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, we're about half done. Man, we're gonna work on some other quests today as well. Couple little odds and ends that we're gonna try to get finished up. And, oh man, we are gonna work on a quest today that has been bothering us forever. You know that quest where we had to go under the water and find the water bubbles and things like that? We never got that quest done, ever. And man, it's just been sitting in there bothering me. So we're going to try to get it knocked out. And that's what this episode's all about. Because, I mean, technically, we're just kind of just chilling, right? We're waiting. We can't get into too much. We can't go running around. We can't do too many things. We have to be sort of in the area here so those bees can do their deal. And they're working. You know, bees, they never, well, they do sleep. <laughs> they don't work at night. They only work it during the day. So it also helps that we'll be able to go around here and, you know, sleep through the night for those guys. Okay, I think we're almost done here. I don't think it actually used a full thing of mana. Okay, let's click there. There we go. Master Infusion Stone. Done. So that quest should be knocked out now. And we get some magical potions. All right, look at that. Look, there's nothing else open in there. Is that thing done? Uh, no. There must be some quest somewhere that needs to get unlocked at some point. 
I don't know what it could be, but you know, it's okay. We don't have at least any open. Okay, the way the world works? No, that's the Gaia fight. We're not ready for that yet. Uh, world enables. That's this right here, this big daddy quest. Now, you know, you'd think with a guy named Dadcraft would have a quest named Big Daddy complete, but I don't. <laughs> so what do I have to do here? I have to make a bottle of natural gas. So it says a snorkel works well enough to let you stay underwater longer, but you only ever have time to grab one or two things from the ocean floor, and you're still from being able to reach the bottom of the deeper ocean. One more resource has come to your attention as being available on the ocean floor. You've spotted small bubbles. I've never even spotted those at all. That's a big lie. Escaping from, from some spots of the ocean floor, indicating the presence of natural gas below. If you dig down from these bubbles, you should find a pocket of highly flammable gas. Oh, that'll be great. Which may make you feel dizzy. You can utilize the air pump with a redstone signal applied to collect the gas with the air pump putting it into any adjacent tank. Okay. Well, that's what we're going to try to do, I guess. Is that what we're going to do next? Yeah, man, I'm so tired of that quest. <laughs> so I'll tell you what I'm going to do. So I'm not getting out. I, gotta, I have no clue where that crazy pump thing even is. Oh, my goodness. It might take us the rest of this episode just running around here trying to find out where we put that thing. We stash it away. We got so mad at it. We hated that pump. I may have thrown it off in the in the in the. Who knows? <laughs> what if it's out on this little platform still? Maybe we'll run out there and see. You think it's still out there? Don't go underwater. You'll drown immediately. Man, the water in regrowth is so hardcore. Oh, uh, I don't. Oh, there. I think there is some stuff out there. Okay. I think my scuba mask is out there too. <laughs> this crazy item frame just sitting out here all by itself. Not a wonder my scuba mask is, but there's that thing. Here, let's make sure it doesn't fall in the water. Hi. Why are you so ridiculous to break? I don't know if it is break. Oh, hey, hey. Oh, get off that. Okay. Why can't I break that thing? What kind of tool does it need? Maybe an axe? Alright, let's see. Maybe we can chop it up with an axe. Good grief. Man, if this thing worked as good as it, how strong it was, man, we would never die. This thing is a piece of junk. <laughs> I'm telling you that right there. You remember that episode. That was a long time ago, man. We were dying left and right, drowning in this water, counting on this air pump to do its deal. Oh, man, why can't I break that? What other tools do I have? Like a wrench or something? Do I have... I have my configurator. I don't know if I can put it in wrench mode, I guess. Um, I think my key... Oh, my dang it. We have to hit on the bottom? Oh, get off the air pump. Oh, get out of the water! Oh, yeah, yeah! <laughs> I don't know why this won't break. I could break that. But maybe that would break it, but that didn't. Hmm. All right, let me go off camera and see if I can't figure out why. Can we just use our hands? It says effective tool. Oh, pickaxe. That's what I was using. Um. I would like it if you would break. Man, that thing's unbreakable let me just take a look here maybe I have a different pickaxe before I jump off camera I'm wasting time messing around with this um, I don't have a pickaxe in there do I have one in this other bag maybe <laughs> no oh see you're making me trouble already a dang air pump all right let me head back over here to the base let me get in a pickaxe and then I'll come back we'll see if we can't break that and then 
I'm going to make an underwater breathing potion. One of those kind of long ones. Maybe a... Um, Oh, don't jump like that. That's how you die. Can I jump out of this water with my super jump? Oh, no. <sighs> I hate the water in this mob pack. Man, it's so brutal. Anyway, let me get a couple things together. I'll be back with you in just a second. Alrighty, my friends, we are back. We're getting ready to jump in the water here. I have myself some of these magic potions. I got them as a quest reward. Look, they've got water breathing and all kinds of crazy stuff. <laughs> Regen and night vision and speed and strength. I love that. They last 25 minutes. So I figured before we would go all crazy and maybe worry about jumping in the water, how about we kill a couple withers? I've got enough materials here to kill three withers. I think we'll just knock those out. I don't even think I need my bow. I don't have it. I think this will be fine. Don't you? I'm going to have strength. I'm going to have flight. <laughs> I don't know. I was thinking I was going to be all brave and just do it. And then I'm now worried about not... Oh, there's my bow. Okay, I have that. Do I have an arrow? Huh. No. Whatever. Whatever. We're just going to do it. Let's just do it. Let's just kill the wither. I need a couple wither stars, and so I figured that we would just, you know, knock this out a little bit. All right, let's get our potion here on our bar. <laughs> we'll get some wither skulls. I'm just going to try to melee him. I got my jetpack on. Should just be able to melee him down really quick. Oh, I think we'll get that on hover mode. Okay, um, I mean, I'm far away from my base. I think we'll be okay. I don't think we're going to die. We have our terror seal I, I, armor on. We should be okay. Alright, let's try. Alright, drink my potion. Would you just be dead like so? Man, I didn't even hardly take any damage. There's my nether star. Got it. Okay, cool. I say we just go ahead and kill another one. Back to back. Why not? We got the potions. We're all jacked up on potions. We still have some jet fuel. <laughs> some hydrogen in our crazy thing. Oh, no, no. Okay. Let's just go one, two, three. We'll fly over here a little bit. Still got our potion? Yeah, 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 yeah. Then we're going to jump in that water and see if we can't find something. Okay. Now, I will say... I will say that with a dead. <laughs> That's what I'll say. I was going to say that in the 1.10 mechanics... Um, it's so much easier to kill, or 1.7 mechanics, because you can just spam your sword, and then he dies. Alright, we got a little bit more fuel here. Still got our potions. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and knock this guy out. And we'll have three nether stars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We also have some heart canisters, which are nice. <laughs> that wither just got wrecked okay cool that's all I wanted to do just wanted to do a little bit of that now let's get in the water here and see if we can't oh look at all <gasps> have you ever seen so many squids appear in all your life I mean there's literally like hundreds of squids here that's really strange wow look at all those squids there's some pearls down there. Oh my goodness, I've never seen that many squids before. Hey, turn this off. Right, let's get on the floor. Okay, now what we're doing... That was kind of crazy, all those squids. Alright, let's run around here and see if we can't find some bubbles. That's what, that's what the quest says. Bubbles coming out of the ground should lead us to an underground area where we can rake in the natural gas. I would love to be able to see these. I have never seen bubbles in all my life underwater here. I've got particles turned on, so I should be able to see them. I 
don't know. And we're in the deep water too. Please be quiet, phone. Why are you always beeping and buzzing as soon as I start recording videos? There's a uh, there's a coral thing over here. Do I see any any bubbles? No. Look, that's a huge uh, coral reef underneath the water here. Look at all that stuff. That looks beautiful. I love it. <laughs> I love it. All right, let's just keep looking around here. Uh, there's some stuff. That's a blue pearl laying there. I don't know why there's so many squids. That's crazy. Something's going on. It's like a squid invasion. All right, bubbles, bubbles. All right, I'll tell you what. Let me jump off camera here because we don't want to spend the whole episode with me just walking around underneath the water. Let me jump off camera here, and I will keep searching around on the ocean floor until I can find some bubbles. And as soon as I do, I'll bring you back, and we'll see if we can't fill up some glass bottles with some with some gas, I guess. Natural gas. Oh, good grief. All right, I'll see you in just a minute. All righty, my friends. We are back. Man, I was walking around on the ocean floor forever trying to find a cave. You can see I found something, though, because something's in here. <laughs> I got nausea and all kinds of stuff. Weakness from being in this cave. That means it's filled with this natural gas. Um, I brought some glowstone alone. I actually ran out of a potion. I had to go back in and get another one, but I was able to find what I need, I think at least, and I went ahead and brought some glowstone just to make sure I could light this up because, man, I watched the Admiral. You know, you know about the Admiral. <laughs> he went into this cave and threw down a torch, and man, it just erupted in flames. So I knew I didn't want to be doing that, but still, I didn't realize I would have night vision, so I don't really even need one. But let's get this quest done, man. This quest has been sitting in our inventory of quests for forever. Now I think it's just as simple as putting this putting this guy down putting the tank beside it and if we just click it do we we have to give it a redstone signal let's do that oh yeah look it's filling up with natural gas look at that oh it's filling up from the top down that's so cool <laughs> man I love when people think of stuff like that you know that makes perfect sense right you know gas is lighter than air so it would want to float to the top of that tank I fill it up the rest of the way? Oh, maybe I can't. Oh yeah, I can. I just have to do it myself. Okay, is that full yet? Almost. There, it's full. Okay, we're going to break that guy. Make sure we have a tank of natural gas. We do. Oh, I don't, I'm never going to break this. You know what? I don't even care. If I need another pump, I'll make one. That thing can stay here forever and live its life out in this watery cave of death <laughs> I hate that pump that thing is no good there had to be a better way Oh, but we got our natural gas so now we just need to put some in a bottle so let's get all the way back up to the surface I think I had to come out I mean I'm probably four or five hundred blocks from home I think it's I want to say I don't know let's look at our coordinates so we need to go Oh, I don't think we're too far. Let's just head on straight up here. Our base is at like negative 200, negative 300, somewhere in that range. There's a bunch of combs down here, watery combs all over the place, or watery hives. Uh, where's our base? <laughs> I don't know. Here, let's do this. Oh, I don't have my jetpack on. Let's put my jetpack on. We'll just fly up in the air. Let's see if we can see our base. Um, I don't see our base. Let's see where are we at? Oh man, we came a long ways. We have to go this way about 400 blocks. No, this way about 400 blocks. Oh man, it's so beautiful. I love this. You know, it's just little simple things. You know how they, how the ground has been or the under the the sea the ocean floor 
Man, it looks so good. I mean, it doesn't look, I guess, as good underneath. But, you know, there's still lots of detail and things like that, which is pretty cool. I love it. I love it. And then when you come across these, you can see them from the sky really well. You come across, like right over there is a coral reef. How man, look how big that, that's huge, it's massive. Oh man, what did I do? I went the wrong way. But just look how big that coral reef is right there. I mean, it stretches on way over there. That's so amazing. Look, it even stretches this way. Oh, <laughs> I love it. All right, let's get down here and get our our position straight we don't need to be flying around in the air let's see if we can't land halfway decently without like there we go okay all right so we need to go let's see which way z coordinate needs to go down that guy needs to stay so we need to go essentially straight east i think okay turn this off we don't need that, and we don't need this anymore. Okay, I think we can swim actually faster than we can walk, and then we can fly. Anyway, we got a uh, a tank full of natural gas. Let's head on back to the base. It's just right over there, and we're gonna see if we can't put it in some bottles, and maybe, just maybe, we'll complete the Big Daddy quest. How amazing would that be? Oh, it makes me so happy. <laughs> I'll be back in just a second. Alrighty, my friends, we are back. We made it back across the ocean. Oh, that was quite the long journey. I mean, we had to go about 500 blocks out, walking on the bottom of the ocean floor to be able to find those bubbles. But man, we finally got it. Let's see what happens. Can we do that? Oh, man, tell me this quest is done. That would be so awesome. Okay. Bottle of natural gas. Didn't I get a bottle of natural gas? Okay, manual detect. Okay, that's all done. Do I need more than one? Okay, let's see now. Um, hello? Bottle of natural gas. Glass bottle of natural gas. What's just a bottle? Is there a different type of bottle that I have to make? gas um, yeah I should have that quest oh do I need like special bottles empty bottle holds twice oh I gotta make it out of this heat resistance oh man that means I need to go back in the water dang it can I put these back in yeah I, mean, I need to go find some ancient sand now. Of course I don't have any. I, do I still have some? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Man, I thought we were all done. Of course not. Crazy. I wonder if I have any of those. I know I had some for... Oh, man, I got that crazy speed boost. I thought, um, I, thought I had some at some point that I was putting creosote oil in. Glass bottle. No. That's the same as that. So that's not going to help. Um... Oh, there's one piece of ancient sand. That's nice. I think I'm going to need more than that, though. Hmm. <laughs> oh, man, I hate my I hate my chests. I hate them. Um, I thought I had some... There's some cans of creosote. I was pretty sure I had some of those bottles laying around here. There's a tank full of steam. Clear glass. Regular glass. More fluid tanks. Man, I must have been making some crazy fluid tanks back in the day. Um, creosote bottle. I wonder if, I can, wonder if this is like that, that special... Let's see, if I put that... Oh, is it gone? Well, that must not have been it. Lovely. All right, let me see. We've got three minutes or so left on our underwater breathing. Let's see if we can go back in the water here really quick and see if we can find some of this ancient sand. And then we will make, I'll make one of those fancy mariculture bottles and see if we can't get it out of there. Let me do that. I'll be back with you in just a second. 
Alrighty, my friends, we are back. I found 14 pieces of ancient sand just right off the coast there. I had to just go look for a little bit. It wasn't, it wasn't too bad. It wasn't great, <laughs> but it wasn't too bad either. Where did I put my... Oh, out here. Man, good grief. Okay. All right. Let's get that. Now let's see if this quest is complete. One thing that's very interesting, you know, when I tried to break that pump over there, it didn't work with my atomic disassembler. So I had to get just a regular pickaxe and break that pump. I didn't have one in my inventory, so I had to come back and get one, which was kind of strange. And I just tried to break ancient sand with my atomic disassembler. It wouldn't break it either. I had to get a shovel out. It's just kind of weird how that works. All right, let's open this. Yes, claim reward. We get all kinds of stuff. Um, claim reward. Awesome. Okay, 42 Wallaby Way. Oh my goodness, now we have this crazy stuff to work on. Now you've got access to titanium and natural gas, you think you can work on producing some diving equipment which will make you more mobile than a fish. <laughs> One of the biggest issues with the previous diving suit was that it had a limited range that you could travel from the air pump. Yes, I know all about it. Building a large scale air compressor will allow you to fill and carry a tank of air down with you. Allowing you to stay underwater for long periods. Okay, so we need to make an air compressor base, an air compressor top, and a scuba tank. Okay, let's take a look here. Air compressor. Oh, um, don't do that. Air compressor base. Okay, so that's sheets of aluminum, an iron wheel, and some titanium ingots to make that air compressor deal. Titanium battery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all sort of baseline stuff. Man, maybe we'll run in here and get that quest done. And if I could finish out these quests, man, I'd be so happy. <laughs> I don't know how long this episode is. I might have to check it in just a minute. Let's see if we can't... I think we have a lot of these materials, though. Titanium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have tons. Okay, so... Um, air compressor. Air compressor base. Uh, we need to make one of these, but um, I think that's okay. Here. Um, I think I can just do like that. Air compressor. No, this. Okay, so we need an iron wheel. Do I have all that stuff? No. Okay, but I have... I can just make an iron wheel quick. Okay, there's those. Now we should be able to do this. And we do one, two. And then we need to make this guy. So this guy right here should be pretty simple. We can just click that in. Uh, cooling component. Can we make that? Yep. Put that in there, we'll put that in there, okay? And then can we just click this in? Yeah, okay. So there's air compressor top, and then we need to make a scuba tank, scuba tank. And let's see, can we make that? We can, awesome. Let's turn that quest in. All right, now, oh, now we gotta make this crazy stuff. The rest of the equipment is made of neoprene, a strong, warm, and malleable material made using natural gas. A scuba mask will feed air to you from the scuba tank, while the wetsuit will keep you warm and the flippers provide more mobility. Between these, you'll be able to move through the water in any direction you want quite easily. Okay, so we got to make a scuba mask, a wetsuit, and some flippers. All right, let's take a look at the scuba mask, first of all. So it's a couple of those. We need some plastic lenses. Transparent plastic. Oh no. <laughs> okay. So glass plus natural gas. How much? Oh, a thousand millibuckets. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. Let me go off camera. I need to get a vat set up and a, a vat. Yeah, you hear that. I need to get a vat set up. I need, man, maybe I can use that one over there. Do I have like an extra one laying around here by chance? I do. Okay. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And we can get natural gas. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let me get some work done here. I'll be back with you in just a second. Alrighty, my friends. We're back, man. We have been going crazy trying to make this scuba suit. Man, I don't think I'm going to be able to get it done in this episode. I'm out of time. <laughs> I'm low on ethanol. Let me just show you really quick what we've got going on here. So the scuba mask requires these plastic lenses and we need a, a block of transparent plastic surrounded by neoprene not a problem we could probably make that pretty soon that shouldn't be a problem so <laughs> here's where the issue comes in so we have enough we have four pieces of we have enough neoprene to make the mask we need to make a wetsuit and to make a wetsuit we need another seven pieces of neoprene 
And then to make the flippers, we need two more pieces of neoprene and then some of this hard plastic. So I have three of the hard plastic. I need to make seven, eight, nine. Nine more pieces of neoprene. Let me just show you really quickly how you make neoprene. Just so you can, you too can enjoy the fun that I've been having. So if you take an ink sack or four ink sacks and then four pearls and surround it in one of those sort of heavy duty bottles of natural gas, the one that we completed the quest with, then you get two pieces of neoprene. So I have enough uh, natural gas. That's not a problem. I think I have all that I need. So I have a whole, uh, almost, I have a little over a full a full tank there. And I think I still have in the, some in the one outside there. So we're good with that, I think. Now this hardened plastic stuff, stuff, so if we look at flippers, there's two ways to make it. I don't know why that does that. Two ways to make it. One is to put natural gas, so 5,000 millibuckets with four pieces of limestone in a vat gives us one piece of hardened plastic. And I don't think we have enough total natural gas to be able to make that. But I can use 10,000 millibuckets, so 10 buckets of ethanol with four limestone to give me that. So that's how I've made these three pieces and I've got more ethanol cooking up here. Well, we're almost at 10 buckets. Been letting this thing run. I was actually pretty happy that I had this thing fired up because we got some ethanol fired up there. So I just need to put 10 buckets in here. Got the limestone sitting in this vat already. I just built it over here temporarily. We're gonna clean this all up when this quest is done. So I can make that last piece of plastic. The problem though is neoprene. Is it nighttime by chance? No, okay. The problem that I have is neoprene because to get neoprene I need to have pearls and I don't have any pearls. Well I have two. So I set up this really simple little pearl farm. So I've got hoppers that are sort of in a chain that essentially are all feeding into this chest right here. And then I've got you know just sort of like a water tank here with water above it and all these pearls, uh, oysters sitting in here. And then behind I have a bunch of hoppers just filled with sand. Well, there's like one stack of sand in each one of those hoppers. So that's producing pearls. I just have to wait it out. It's just another one of those waiting games and I was hoping I could get it done in this episode, but we're just out of time and and I think we're long anyway. Can I sleep? Yeah. But I don't wanna finish this episode off without doing one thing really quick and it might mean that this one's even gonna run a little bit longer, but I at least wanna go see how many combs I have from my bee operation over here. I mean, we've been playing for, you know, three or four hours. There's 14. There's 11. There's six. Ooh, we might have a stack. Well, maybe not. There's five. Uh, there's two and that guy. Uh, they're still working, right? Yeah, okay. Six in that one. And then, oh, 18. So 62. Not bad. That's not a bad haul from those guys. You know, we just got to wait some more time. So between the episodes, I'm going to continue to AFK and, and get more of those combs. That's for sure. And then I'm going to see if I can get enough to finish that quest. And then meanwhile, between this episode and next one, which I think is going to come Sunday of this week, actually, we're going to get all the pieces parts together to make that, that, uh, the scuba suit. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. Oh, you guys are just amazing. Until next time, please remember to be cool, don't be a fool, and from the wasteland where we're knocking out quests, we're growing pearls <laughs> and making plastic. That's crazy. I guess we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.